Good evening. I'm Julie Williams. Mark Kiesling has the night off. Some Carbondale student athletes won't practice tonight because of the heat, but their coaches are still busy. As News 3 meteorologist John Ross reports, they're going over what they know about heat related illnesses. At Carbondale Community High School's coaches meeting today, an athletic trainer spoke on the subject of athlete wellness. On that topic, of course, was today's heat. Looking at dehydration um, that can also lead to muscle cramping, and then we can get into heat illness, heat exhaustion. Sarah Brumley, the head athletic trainer at Carbondale High School, passed along potentially life-saving information to coaches who will often be the first to respond in a case of heat-related illness. What um, we're going to focus on later is um, where you get into heat stroke, where you actually pass out due to heat and your core body temperature ends up rising, which can be um, deadly in an emergency situation. Part of today's presentation is a new technique to help lower body temperature. A cold water immersion that's easy um, that they can do to try to get the core temperature down um, as the ambulance is en route. This all comes on a day where tennis coach Michael Butler had to cancel practice given the conditions. Cancel practice today due to the fact is we hit that humidity level and that heat level where it becomes a situation where if we push too hard, we could be on the precipice of an injury or possibly a heat exhaustion moment, which no one wants to have, especially because right now we're still in preseason training. Preseason is much different than when you attack the season as a whole. Now, while coach tells me he doesn't like missing practice, he plans a day or two of these in every year just to keep his players safe. Reporting in Carbondale, meteorologist John Ross, News 3.